Hey, good evening, everybody. Well, here we go. Remember, flash flood watches are up. We are picking up pretty decent rain already, and it's not even the main part of the system yet starting to move towards us. So that fetch of moisture continues from the Hawaiian Islands. There's the low. This low going to move closer. That's going to sag the jet south, the subtropical moisture, this atmospheric river of Pineapple Express, and that's going to take more of a beeline right towards us into the area. So this is what I'm thinking by. Early tomorrow morning, you'll see that rain continuing to fall from Santa Barbara. That's not the biggest part of it yet. It's going to be Wednesday through the day into Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, but we continue to pull the rain in. Those heavy amounts we've been talking about by the time it's all said and done will be happening. It's going to be a major concern for the burn areas. There's just such a high probability of sliding going on. That's what it looks like by Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Look at the heavy rain. That's almost three quarters to an inch of rain an hour falling up towards Santa Barbara, moving its way in as we make our way Wednesday. Wednesday night at midnight to Thursday, it starts to really trend its way through the rest of the area. And you can see by early Thursday morning, the rain continues to fall heavy in Santa Barbara, make its approach towards Southern California and the L.A. area, down towards Anaheim, out towards San Bernardino as we continue on. So we're still on track for an inch and a half to three inches for L.A., one to three inches or so out towards the I.E., maybe one to four inches for Orange County as well. But to the north, Ventura, we could see four, five, six, up to ten inches of rain in some of those favored south-facing foothills. And not till late Thursday will we start to clear things out, and then by the weekend, things will start to look better as we start to dry out. If you're told to evacuate, please, some areas are already under mandatory evacuation. Just get your stuff, get out. If I'm wrong, you can call me and I'll be glad to tell you, at least you still got a place to go back to. There's a look at the seven day. There's the dry out that starts Friday. It moves itself in through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We'll warm it up a little bit, give things a chance to dry out. Remember, the ground can shift up to 72 hours after we start to see some movement as well. So that's a major concern. Pat and I, Jim Hill, tonight, 11 o'clock. Don't miss it. We'll be here.